A rectangular beam has the following properties. B sub W is equal to 320 millimeters. Effective depth is equal to 570 millimeters. Stirrup diameter is 10 millimeter. Ito yung ating stirrup. Diameter niyan is 10 mm. With the value of Fy or Fyt for stirrups, which is 275 megapascal. Determine the required spacing of vertical U stirrup when the required shear strength BU is A, 50 kN, B, 90 kN, C, 130 kN, D, 360 kN, and E, 570 kN. To solve this problem, kunin natin muna yung value ng BC or shear strength ng concrete. The formula for the value of BC is equal to 0 0.17 lambda square root of F prime C BWD. Dahil hindi stated sa problem, pwede natin i-assume na yung gagamitin natin is normal weight concrete. For that, ang value ng lambda is equal to 1.0. 0 0.17 lambda 1.0 square root of F prime C 24 megapascal. BW is 320 millimeter. Multiplied by effective depth, 570 millimeters. Kapag kinumpute natin yung value ng BC, ang makukuha natin dito ng unit is Newton. I-divide natin siya ng exponent 3 para yung maging answer natin ng BC is in terms of kilonewton. The answer for BC is equal to 151.908 kilonewton. Next naman, kailangan natin kunin yung value ng reduction factor BC and 0 0.50 reduction factor BC. Kasi doon natin i-compare yung value ng BU. Reduction factor BC, the value of reduction factor for shear is equal to 0 0.75 multiplied by 151.908 kN. Reduction factor BC is equal to 113.931 kN. Next is 0 0.50 reduction factor BC. I-divide lang natin to ng 2. 0 0.50 reduction factor BC is 113.931 kN. Therefore, the value of 0 0.50 reduction factor BC is equal to 56.966 kN. Next is computing naman natin yung limiting value ng BS which is 0 0.66 square root of F prime C BWD equal yun sa 0 0.66 square root of F prime C 24 megapascal BW is 320 and effective depth is 570. The value of this is equal to 589.76 kN. Next is yung value ng 0 0.33 square root of F prime C BWD Magagamit natin ito mamaya kasi kailangan natin dito i-compare yung value ng BS para malaman yung mga limiting values for spacing. That was 0 0.33 square root of F prime C 24, 320 for BWN for effective depth is 570. Or pwede din naman natin i-divide na lang sa 2 yung value ng 589. Equal to sa 294.88 kN. Let's start with letter A. What is the value of spacing when the value of BU is 50 kN? Kailangan natin i-compare yung value ng BU. Dito tayo muna magsimula sa value ng 0 0.50 reduction factor BC. BU is less than the value of 0 0.50 reduction factor BC. If this is the case, beam section is capable to carry the required shear. Ang ibig sabihin nito, at this case, pwede na tayong hindi maglagay ng stirrups kasi kaya na i-carry ng concrete yung shear sa beam. Next is when the value of BU is 90 kN. By comparing the value of BU sa 0.50 reduction factor BC, mas malaki yung BU sa 0.50 reduction factor BC. Pero, less than siya sa value ng reduction factor BC. This is the case, meron tayong dalawang formula na gagamitin para sa pagkuha ng value ng S. Formula 1, tawagin natin S1 is equal to AB FYT over 0.062 square root of F prime C BW. Yung pangalawang formula, tawagin natin S2 equal yon sa AB FYT over 0.35 BW. Kunin muna natin yung value ng AB. 
Dito, yung value ng AB is yung area ng stirrup na masishear. Balik tayo sa figure na idinrawing ko kanina. Kung magsishear to, eto ngayon yung area ng stirrups na masishear. Therefore, equal yan, AB is equal to area ng stirrup, pi d squared, over 4, pero dalawa yan, dalawang area yung masishear, kaya multiplied by 2. AB is equal to 157.08 mm squared. AB is equal to 157.08 multiplied by the value of FIT given yon 275 megapascal over 0.062 square root of F prime C 24 megapascal multiplied by BW 320 millimeter. Therefore, the value of S1 is equal to 444.43 say natin na 444 millimeter. Kasi kapag spacing, hindi yan pwede na i-round up. Next is this one, S2. AB is 157.08. FYT is equal to 275. Over 0.35, BW is 320 mm. Equal yan sa 385.68. Let's say na ito ay 385 mm. This is S1 and S2. Pero, kailangan natin i-check yung value ng S1 at S2 sa maximum spacing limit na S max is equal to D over 2 or 600. Value of D is equal to 570mm over 2 or 600 equal to, to 285 or 600. Ang mag-govern dito is yung mas maliit na value. Ang maximum spacing na allowed ng code is 285. Yung nakuha nating value ng S1 is 444 at S2 is 385. Both this value ay hindi pwedeng mag-exceed ng 285. Therefore, for this problem, use S is equal to 285 mm. Next naman, when the value of BU is equal to 130 kN, kailangan natin itong i-compare sa value ng 0.50 reduction factor BC and reduction factor BC. The value of BU exceeds the value of reduction factor BC. At this case, ang formula naman na gagamitin natin is BS is equal to AB FYTD over S. Arranging the formula, S is equal to AB FYTD over BS. Kailangan natin ng value ng BS. The value of BN is equal to BC plus BS. And BN is equal to BU over reduction factor, therefore BC plus BS. Yung value ng BU natin is 130 kN over reduction factor 0 0.75. The value of BC is 151.908 kN plus BS. The value of BS is equal to 21.425 kN. Kapag isinamsitute natin yung value ng BS sa formula na to, Dapat yung BS ay in terms of Newton. S is equal to AB, 157.08, multiplied by FYT, 275 megapascal, effective depth, 570, over BS, 21,425 Newton. Therefore, the value of S is equal to 1,149.23 millimeters. Pero kailangan natin siya i-compare sa value ng S max. Ano yung value ng S max na gagamitin natin? Para malaman yun, kailangan natin muna i-compare yung value ng BS sa 0.33 square root of F prime C BWD. BS is less than the value of 0.33 square root of F prime C BWD. At this case, ang value ng S max na gagamitin natin is equal to D over 2 or 600. Kinumpyutan natin kanina yung value ng D over 2. This is 285 or 600. Kaya yung D max na gagamitin natin is 285. Yung value ng S na naobtain natin is hamak laki. Kaya naman ang value ng S na gagamitin natin, therefore use S is equal to S max which is 285 mm. Kasi hindi tayo pwede mag-exceed ng value ng spacing sa maximum spacing na ibinigay ng code. Next naman, when the value of BU is equal to 360 kN, kapag ikinumpare natin yung value ng BU, 
mas malaki ulit siya sa value ng reduction factor BC. Ang gagamitin natin na formula ng S is yung ginamit natin kanina, AB FYTD over BS. Kailangan natin ulit ng value ng BS, ipinakita na natin kanina kung paano natin makukuha yung value ng BS, equal yun sa BU over reduction factor, is equal to BC plus BS. This time, yung value ng BU naman natin is 360 kN over reduction factor na 0.75. BC, ganun pa rin, 151.908 plus BS. Yung value ng BS natin is equal to 328.092 kN. So, S is equal to AB, 157.08 mm squared. FYT is 275 times effective depth na 570. Kapag inilagay natin yung BS sa solution na to, kailangan in terms yan sa Newton, 328,092 Newton. Yung makuha natin na value ng spacing is 75.05 mm. So, say na lang natin to na 75 mm. Kasi nga, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-round up. I-check natin ulit yung maximum spacing na gagamitin natin. Pero bago yon i-check natin yung value ng BS sa 0.33 square root of e prime C B W D. This time, BS exceeds the value of 0.33 square root of e prime C B W D. At this case, ang maximum limit natin for spacing is equal to D over 4 or 300. Yung effective depth natin is 570 over 4 or 300. This is 142.50 or 300. So, yung S max natin is 142.50. Yung spacing na nakuha natin is 75 mm. And maximum spacing naman natin is 142. Hindi pa tayo lumalagpas sa maximum limit ng spacing. Therefore, ang gagamitin natin na value ng S is yung nakuha natin na 75 mm. Last naman, when the value of BU is equal to 570 kN. Dating gawe, i-compare lang natin ulit siya sa value ng reduction factor BC. So, BU exceeds the value of reduction factor BC. Kailangan natin ulit kunin yung value ng BS. BU over reduction factor is equal to BC plus BS. BU is 570 kN over reduction factor na 0.75 is equal to BC 151.908 kN plus BS. The value of BS is equal to 608.092. Pero kailangan natin i-compare yung value ng BS sa maximum limit na 0.66 square root of F' C B W D. Kung titingnan natin, BS exceeds the value of 0.66 square root of F' C B W D. Once na ito na kasi yung case, ibig sabihin nun, hindi na adequate yung section natin para i-carry yung required shear. Kailangan na natin i-increase yung section natin para ma-carry yung required shear na ilalagay natin sa beam. Therefore, the beam is not adequate to carry the required shear. Para sa concept ng problem na to, please watch yung naunang video na in-upload.